Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Woo! See there, there, I'm not crazy. Dancing unicorns only on Teach Me Tech. We're going to talk about how to get more out of Asana. I can't wait. You are watching Teach Me Tech. My name is Pete Quist. This is Laurel Gray from GetDigitalFlow.com who's decided to join us again this week as we talk about how to get more out of Asana. Laurel, thanks for joining us again this week. Thank you for inviting me back against my will, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> the restraining orders, pff, what are they? Uh, thanks for showing us the uh, dancing unicorns there. You weren't joking in the last episode. For those of you that didn't catch it, we did an episode previously, which was how to get started with Asana. Now, if you've already caught that episode, you'll know what we're talking about and you'll be ready for this week's episode. If not, hopefully you'll already have a little bit of a grounding with regards to Asana, with regards to task management. That was a mouthful. Should we get underway? Mm -hmm. Yep. In regards to what, Pete? In regards to regards. Got it. Got it. So two quick things before we kick off today. Number one is I want you to follow along at home. Teach Me Tech, of course, we take new or complex or interesting ideas and tools online. We break them down and make them as easy as possible for you to learn. And we want you to do follow along at home. So if you've got a second screen, just grab that now, whether it be a tablet or another computer, and you can actually implement what we're going to talk about today. The other thing, of course, is we want you to get social. Jump on your favorite social media, no matter what it is, Instagram, Facebook, any of the others. What's your favorite, Laurel? Um, you know what? I'm, I'm getting to be more of a fan of Instagram these days. More of an Instagrammer? I like the squares. Okay. You mm. can jump on any of those social platforms. Remember to use that hashtag. Got to do the hashtag. That's all the cool kids are doing it these days. Use the hashtag Teach Me Tech. Get involved in the conversation. We'll be checking out the social media platforms to see what's going on. But also, we want you to talk amongst the community. Let us know what works, what doesn't work. Maybe you hate Asana. Maybe you like Asana. Maybe you use a different team management, team management, a different project management software. Whatever it is, jump onto social media. Use that hashtag Teach Me Tech. So let's take a look at what we're going to cover today. First off, a quick recap of the basics of Asana and how it can help your business. What you can do to get the most out of Asana on a daily basis. How to sync your personal calendar with Asana. Making the most out of the Asana application. How to collaborate effectively with your team and also your clients. How to use Asana in a team environment and keep everyone motivated. It's a good one how to consolidate project feedback and manage risk, what sort of integrations are available with Asana, and finally, how do we use Asana in our businesses? So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Let's kick off, Laurel, a quick recap. That was the longest winded <laughs> intro ever, wasn't it? Anyway, at least we know what we're gonna cover. So a quick recap of what we covered on getting started with Asana and how it can help people's businesses. So you mm. work with a lot of companies with, with your company and what do they find is the best reason to get involved with something like Asana? Oh my gosh. Well, when I start working with a business owner, I find that they are all over the place with technology. Hence the name Get Digital Flow, right? So Asana helps them to basically just get all of those ideas again out of their head and into one system. So it's kind of like with a customer relationship management system. You want to get all of your contacts in one space. It's the same thing with Asana. Anything that you've got that you have to actually do or execute, get it all into one system. Even if you decide later that you hate it and you can't stand Asana and you want to switch to something else, remember that you own all of your information. You can always export it out and import it into another system. And the cool thing is as well, I use Asana in my business day to day and you're obviously very familiar with it. So mm -hmm. this is something that we can talk about that we actually have in the real world, in businesses right now, and we're using it effectively. So in the first episode, when we talked about getting started with Asana, what are some of the things that we discussed last episode? Well, I think basically we went through the entire setup process. Um, so for us, we used our single sign-on uh, and linked up our Google Apps account directly in with Asana and got going. I think it was in under a minute. 
through the whole setup process, and we walked through how to set up an organization, as well as set up your own personal preferences. And then we went on to actually setting up your projects and all of your tasks and some of the nitty gritty details involved in doing that. Perfect. So we've got the basics down of Asana and we always recommend with these episodes, when you're following along at home, just get stuck into that particular application. In this case, Asana, it's pretty hard to break, isn't it? Absolutely. So yeah. I would recommend the best thing to do is to grab your computer and start adding tasks. But for us, we're going to get into a bit more detail in this episode. So the next slide suggests what you can do to get the most out of Asana on a daily basis basis laurel hmm well we were talking about this earlier and one of the things that we didn't cover in the first session is how to actually split your personal tasks away from your business tasks I know for me I really like to keep those two things separate and I, I certainly also use uh, Asana for personal tasks and also for business tasks very separately uh, and I didn't even realize it until we had this discussion about what we use Asana for and I realized that a lot of my day-to-day -day tasks around the house, everything mm. from the renovation of my house through to uh, my grocery lists, through to things that my wife and I collaborate on that need to be done, all happen within Asana. And I kind of felt like a bit of a tech geek when that happened, but yep. guilty. Okay. Yep. I'm sure your wife loves it when you assign her tasks in Asana, Pete. <laughs> yeah, I've got to be very careful <laughs> Keep there. Keep the marriage trust me. alive. <laughs> tasks <laughs> are getting assigned the other way much more often. Trust me on that. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> I'd give her a shout out every episode. Oh. <laughs> she loves watching. <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing in the studio. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. So what can we do to get the most out of Asana on a daily basis? So uh, what else have we got? We can use it for personal things like I discussed. Yep, absolutely. Uh, I think once you start to get in the habit with your business where perhaps you're a little bit more disciplined in getting everything out and on paper, because you might have a team that you're accountable to and clients that you need to deliver projects to, um, you're going to start to notice that you become more disciplined as well in your personal life. And everything that you can think of around the house as you're walking around, okay, so replace light bulb, um, buy a new replacement bag for the vacuum cleaner, you're going to start to go, oh, that should go in Asana too. And so they've already thought of this over at Asana and they've segmented it really well. So I'd love to show you on the screen here sure, how they've done it. Let's jump in. And as I said, not only do I use it in my day to day tasks, but also on uh, my mobile device, I've got an Android application and I can add tasks very easily that way too. So Oh, absolutely. Let's jump onto the computer. We've got our Dancing Unicorns tasks there. Yes, <laughs> we managed to get them to come up after only two clicks. I'm very yeah, proud. Yeah, there were some people using the hashtag Teach Me Tech that suggested that maybe the Dancing Unicorns didn't exist, but we showed them. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> All right, so we want to go back if we're logged into our Asana account under Demo Company. Go back to that trusty upper right hand corner. And what we can do is go and click, instead of my profile settings or demo company settings, we notice up here in, in at the top we've got demo company and then we've got personal projects. So we want to just click through there. And this is where you can get a completely blank slate that's separate from your business. That means your colleagues aren't going to see when you're going to get your teeth cleaned or any of those types of tasks. And you can just start to dump everything out and put it underneath here. Great. And I always love that process, that brain dump, which we talked about in the last episode. And it's crucial for any project, really, isn't it? Just getting mm. those initial thoughts and ideas out. Because some people, uh, you know, they're very specific with how they do things. They don't like clutter. They want to be neat. But mm. the fact is, Asana is best used if you just brain dump first and then you clean up your list after that original brain dump is done. It's a great way to get ideas out. Yep, absolutely. And once you start with the whole thing, you're going to realize it's really tough to stop. And it's such a freeing experience, you know, to know, all right, I'm going to schedule in my six month cleaning as a recurring task for going to the dentist. Uh, what uh, sometimes for me at least is a difficult thing to do. Like I don't really love going to the dentist or love going for my annual checkup becomes a lot less daunting when I look at it from a different perspective. Or like when my wife scheduled the daily task for me to change underpants, which was excellent. Very helpful. Right. OK, we love hygiene here. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay, Very important. OK, I digress. Back <laughs> to our personal tasks. What do we do next? All right. Well, it's pretty much the same setup as the business uh, version. You can create your own. To continue enjoying this presentation, download Brin, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Brin.ai or search the App Store today.